in a monochrome world Looking from the side through her lonely eyes It reflects the ocean and stars But her cry echoes around The simple loss of love in her heart Making this old fairy tale alive Earth and sorrow's tender embrace This was never meant to happen that day, the only reason you have to stay, hear me sing my song, and just keep holding on, Cinderella, why don't you stay with me tonight, we won't dance until Nana comes and we could run away, oh, we will never ever be apart, set aside all your fears, this magic lives inside of us, I am here, would you want to stay with me tonight, follow Run across the bridge of fantasy oh, All the pain and sadness that you feel Believe in me, hold me close, don't ever let me go Come and stay with me forever the magic lives so long as I am here Hello friend, my name is Asindra and today I'm going to be playing for you Cinderella Phenomenon with Comp Hello now, uh, as you can see, I have played this game all the way through its entirety, and I really liked it. So we're going to be playing Waltz's Route, uh, which is the last person you get, and I think it's the true ending. Um, and instead of focusing so much on the premise, which is that this uh, girl who is a princess, um, but doesn't... she's not very kind. So this witch uh, curses her into becoming, like, everybody forgets who she is, and so she becomes poor, and um, has to do three nice deeds to so that it'll break her curse. But it only half of it focuses on that, and then the other half focuses on the revolution that's happening with her um, kingdom. So, we're gonna do that. Does Not that sound the revolution. Good? Yeah. Let's begin. Someone, hmm? someone start playing Hamilton. No. <laughs> I don't want to refresh on how to do a Renvy novel. Thanks. I'm good. Once upon how, do you, how do you play a visual novel? I don't know. I've never done it before. <laughs> well, I learned from one of those a long time ago that you can do a space bar to continue the game, which is nice when my mouse is not playing nice. So. Oh, that's good. But anyway... <laughs> Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there were two crystals. One was the Crystallum Lucis, protected by the ruler of the fairies. The other was the Crystallum Tenebrum, Brarum, Tenebrarum, which was watched over by the high leader of the witches. The Lucis was sustained by love, happiness, and joy. The Tenebrarum by fear, anger, and hatred. The fairies and witches lived in harmony with the humans of the kingdom. They regulated the powers of the crystal in order, crystals in order to maintain balance between darkness and light. When did this become Jedi? <laughs> they had lightsabers where they fought, <laughs> fought each other with, because that makes sense. Giant glowing sticks of Dude. death. <laughs> For there can be no joy without sadness, no courage without fear. The kingdom was at peace for a time. Then one day, a traveling bard decided to write stories, tales of the magic and wonders of the kingdom. He named these stories Fairy Tales. In Fairy Tales, the light always emerged victorious and true love was a usual reward. The fairy tale spread further than could have been predicted. The humans of the kingdom began to believe that fairy tales were true, and that the magic of the witches was inherently wicked and cruel. The witches became hated and feared. That's just bad writing. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> what fairy tales have now, so... True. Eventually, they were hunted like animals. The witch hunt. The high leader of the witches, in all of her anger, created the fairy tale curse. You think we are wicked? So be it. Just as you have taken our happily ever afters, we shall take yours. The witches used the fairy tale curse to attack humans indiscriminately, ultimately throwing the kingdom into chaos and darkness. 
The ruler of the fairies, the Lucius Bearer, sought to regain peace. But the witches were blinded by their hatred for humans, who were responsible for the witch genocide. A terrible war, the Great War, began. All because one bard was a decided dick to write a about fucking... witches. <laughs> right. All because one bard is like, you know what? I'm gonna be a dick and write a bad story. Yep. Eventually, the Tenebrarum Bearer, the High Leader of the Witches, was finally defeated. The Tenebrarum was lost, peace was restored, and the light once again triumphed. But darkness can never fully disappear. It waits in the shadows, patient for when its time will inevitably return. Sign here. Hi, I'm Asindra. <laughs> Prologue, the princess. Oh boy. <laughs> my That's name, a name? Yeah. My name is Asindra Riella Breton, daughter of King Gennaro Breton III. Oops, what the fuck? Oh, the that's hell? the menu button right there. <laughs> I will move over here. <laughs> that startled both of us. <laughs> Hi, I'm the daughter of a king. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Visual novel over. That's the entire story, kid. <laughs> I am the crown princess of the kingdom of Angiel. At least, that's who was. that was who I used to be. But that was before yesterday, when I became a victim of the infamous fairy tale curse. Everyone has forgotten my birthright. Now, I am nothing more than a lowly peasant. I feel like I am stuck in a nightmare. But no, this is my reality now. I still have no idea what I must do to break the curse. Calm down, you're just poor. <laughs> that, that's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> I close my eyes and remember that day. It started out like any other day. It was yeah, literally yesterday. I closed my eyes and remember that day. Literally yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I fell victim to the curse. Now I'm going to close my eyes and reminisce like it happened when I was fucking five years old. Right? Uh. Have you heard another person was cursed? I am on my way to the dining hall for breakfast when I stop and listen to the sound of hushed voices. There are two maids standing next to each other with brooms in hand. These two are slacking off again. That's terrible. What fairy tale curse was it? They say it was Pinocchio. Pinocchio, the fairy tale with the lying boy whose nose grows longer? That's awful. You know, more and more people have been getting cursed lately. You think those wicked witches are up to something again? I thought the fairy tale curses would stop after you know who was defeated. Voldemort. Did the fuck did Voldemort come into play. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> you two were hired to work, not talk. We're sorry, Your Highness. As can only be expected from the likes of them. Another fairy tale curse. The fairy tale curse started spreading even before the Great War began. I do not have much interest in its effects, even now. After all, most humans probably deserve to get cursed. The victims are weak. Mm. And Giel would be better off without the dead weight. If it were up to Mother, the curse would have been banished from Angiel the instant they fell prey to it. But Mother is not here anymore. And she will not come back. Ever. Okay, but if there's a curse where people fucking forget about who you are, how would you fucking banish them? Yes. Well, but that's not the... That's not the curse that, um, happened to the mom. Uh, th no, I'm saying that, but I'm saying, like, well, if everybody that was cursed... Well, mom would have to kick out everybody that was cursed. Yeah, but if you forgot about someone because of the curse, how would you banish them? I mean, I guess it would be the people that actually know that they're cursed. Does anybody actually know that you're cursed if everybody's cursed? Oh yeah, they definitely know when they're cursed. So they'd have to banish themselves? They, uh, 
Probably. I guess it wouldn't work out very well, huh? You, you see, you see my issue with that yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> like, we'll banish everybody except for the people that are lucky enough to be forgotten. Uh, yay! <laughs> Princess, the king and queen are waiting in the dining hall. I am on my way. The king, Ophelia, and Rod are all present in the dining room hall. <laughs> Just for a second, I was like, wait, the king isn't Ophelia. Ophelia's the queen. <laughs> Someone is conspicuously missing, but I ignore their absence. Good morning, Asindra. Good morning, your majesty. Good morning, Asindra. Asindra. Ophelia. Ophelia Widensov. Every day I wonder why my father, the king, married a lowly baker. She can never be a true queen, for she pales in comparison to mother. I take my seat next to the king, then look up at the person sitting opposite me. Rod Benedict Widensov, my stepbrother, is bored and quiet as usual. He is two years my junior and is the younger of Ophelia's children. He is mute and uses a plush bunny to voice his thoughts. The plush bunny's name is Sebi. It was apparently given to him by a fairy, who we will meet. Nice. He minds his own business and is easy to deal with. But his older sister... My eyes go to the empty seat beside him. She is probably the most infuriating person I have ever had the displeasure of knowing. Well, it shows you just don't know yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I'm late. I was reading and forgot the time. And here she is. Good morning, dear father. Mother. Good morning, Rod. And good morning to you, too, Asindra. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Emmeline Widensov, Rod's elder sister and my stepsister. She acts as if we are blood, as if she too were born a princess. As if she could be crowned princess, perhaps steal my place. I will never let that happen. Damn, bitch, chill your tit. She's so mean. <laughs> I mean, do you see why she needs this curse? <laughs> she has to do are three sure kind we, things. Are we sure we want to break the curse? I mean, this seems like something that she should, you know, live with. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. She, she gets used to it. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Now that everyone is here, let us begin. Butlers glide inside with silver trays to ser uh, carefully serve us breakfast. So, Emmeline, you were reading the fairy tale books that the king brought you? Oh yes, there are so many and they are all so wonderful. Thank you so much, Father. I am happy that you like them. I love them. It's so strange that the library didn't have any of them to begin with. That is because Mother hated them. She had all the books burned. But why? They are such charming stories. Fairy tales mislead humans into believing that they can have things they do not deserve. Fame, riches, love, happily ever afters. Get your daughter to a therapist, bro. Right? And when their wishes do not come to fruition exactly as they want them to, the humans blame the witches for granting them in the first place. What are you implying about the witches, Asindra? The atmosphere shifts, the air in the room growing heavy. I continue to eat. Perhaps witches are not responsible for the evil in this world. Perhaps humans are the cause of their own downfall. Have you any idea what you are talking about, child? 
Witches have caused nothing but pain and suffering to this kingdom. Even now, they still spread the fairy tale curse to our innocent subjects. The truth is, I know very little about the time the witches had free reign over Angiel. I was very young then, and Mother forbade me to live the, leave the palace, sometimes even my room. I know nothing of the people's supposed pain and suffering. Mother kept me away from everyone. And so, I cannot bring myself to care. How do you know the cursed are innocent? Our people have been toiling day and night to rebuild NGL after the Great War. Our people are the kingdom's foundation, and I am endlessly grateful for their determination and resolve. Every day I wonder what your mother taught you about. Leave mother out of this. Well, it sounds like your mother is the entire fault for you being a raging Bitch. idiot. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, Normally when I throw this about, it's as a joke, but this girl is literally a dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, please. Asindra, darling, your father didn't mean to. I am not one of your children, Ophelia. I do not need your sympathy. I... Asindra, you will show your mother respect. She is not my mother. I set down my fork and knife to stand up. I am done. Excuse me. My father and I have never gotten on, but our relationship has significantly worsened since she, he married the baker. My father, the king. It has been 17 years, and I have never felt any love from him. He treats Emmeline and Rod who only entered our life one year ago, like his own children. Better than he has ever treated me. This has been my life ever since Mother passed away four years ago. Mother was the only one that was there for me when no one else was. Your mother locked you in your room on your own. I don't really think that counts, honey. Yep. Do you see why this was a really compelling story for me to read? <laughs> I want to smack her. Yeah, exactly. I want to see how this ends. Like, the bad endings, you end up killing your love interest, and it's great. Sorry. Anyway. I really hope that the dice decide to fuck us up. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll get both endings. Um, uh, whichever one we end up getting uh, naturally, and then we'll go back and get the other one um, through cheating. <laughs> we'll go back and get the opposite one. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for the accident during the Great War, she would still be here. Locking you in your room. So, the question is, because there's so many characters, do you want me to voice the other love interests that are not the main one, or do you want to voice all the characters? Uh, you voice the others, and I'll get the main one. Okay. Why the sour face so early in the morning, princess? Why the close-ups at the introductions? I don't know. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Let me guess. It's the king, the queen, or Princess Emmeline. Or is it all of them? I ignore his question. Fritz, what are you doing here so early? I'm running some errands for my father. Fritz Gerald Aiden Leverton, son of the highest knight of the Order of Caldera. Please back away from his face. <laughs> his father, Sir Alcaster, has served the royal family for many years. The more I stare at him, the more his nose looks like it's being re it's like it's recessed into his face. Oh my god, it does. No, why did you say that? <laughs> Come on. I had to share that with someone. I can't <laughs> stare at him alone. <laughs> Sir Alcaster is one of the king's most trusted advisors. Three years ago, Fritz was assigned the honor of becoming my personal knight. I have to go through this because I don't want to see it anymore. His presence is the only company I can tolerate nowadays. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you should wait in the throne room, then. Thank you. Oh, look, he has a real nose. Princess? Yes. You know, I haven't seen you smile once since I've met you. Why is that of any importance? 
Still, I do hope to see you smile one day, princess. Well, I won't take up more of your time. I'll see you at ten. Ten? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Forgotten what? You're going to town today, remember? I deflate as the realization dawns upon me. It has been two days since the king issued the order. I like how there's a flashback within a flashback. <laughs> right? Asindra, I would like you to accompany Emmeline on one of her town outings. Surely you could send maids with her instead. I would not have requested you to accompany her if I was going to send her with her maids. I want you to make an effort to get along with your sister. Stepsister. She is your sister, and you're a bitch, and you will treat her and Rod as if they were of your blood. See, the thing is, is that I would completely understand where she's coming from with not wanting to be associated with her stepfamily if they were assholes. Yeah, but she's the asshole. <laughs> exactly. You kind of... You'll learn later on why she's like this, and it's very much to do with her mother. I was going to say, I'm assuming it's because her mother sheltered her away and locked her in a room and didn't let her have contact with anybody outside of yeah. her. So, I mean... There's more to it than that, but yeah. It, it, at the Currently, what it's kind of ringing out as is an abuser breeds an abuser yes. type thing. Like, I am an asshole, so I'm going to lock my child away and raise her to be an asshole. Yeah. And I shall create a long lineage of assholes. <laughs> well, I mean, that's assuming that her child can get enough, like, do, do somebody to get another <laughs> child to breed another asshole. <laughs> that's, that's true. That, that, that has to have the role of luck that... The, kid can actually get someone that can stay with them for longer than five seconds. And... Or just get somebody to marry them and then off them. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe like a marriage, I don't know, a marriage of convenience. Or a marriage where and she's a... the queen and she has a consort. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> two days from now, you are going to accompany Emmeline outside. <gasps> it has been, I'm so... I am, like, suddenly... This is so bad, but I am suddenly reminded of Ray. <laughs> I am Why? ordering you... I am ordering you to go outside. <gasps> <laughs> Just the horror of being sent outside. Yeah. It has been four years since you last left the palace. Ever since then, you have locked yourself away. You barely leave your room. Is that a change from when she was younger? No. NGL was in the grip of war back then, but now the kingdom is safe and back to its former glory. I want you to see how beautiful NGL really is. Asindra, a princess, must know her kingdom. Go with Emmeline, and she will show you the town that you only ever see through your windows. See, locking your kid up in war would, like, ro royalty, it would make sense. If she were just confined find to, like, the palace, yeah. you know, or, like, the palace grounds. Like, you cannot leave the palace grounds. You can go anywhere on the grounds, but you cannot leave that. But the fact that she was contained to her room during the war, it's, like, that's freaky, bro. Why yeah. did you let that... Ha did he never bring it up with his wife? Like, hey, like, I think it's... I think it's kind of weird that you lock our daughter away every day, all day. There's good reason why he let his wife do that. And we'll learn that later. I should hope there's at least good reason. Well, it's not a... It's a terrible reason, but it, I mean, it's a valid reason. Okay. Anyway. I, you know, I will, I will accept that it is a terrible but valid reason. Is that an order? Yes. If it needs to be. Are we clear? A Syndra. Understood. The last time I left the palace was four years ago, when the king took me with him to check on the people after the Great War had ended. I shake my head, removing myself from the memory. It says a lot that she constantly refers to her father, as even alone as the king. Yeah, or your majesty, yep. Yeah, like, it makes it makes sense to his face, 
just for the purpose of formality in front of the staff and servants in the court. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what was done, but in private... There's a lot going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot so there's a lot going on here. I am intrigued and slightly horrified and a little angered. <laughs> it's a little bit like the child neglect in Strawberry Vinegar, but... Yeah, it's a lot like that, only I'm not, you know, having a mental breakdown over it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is... Which is great. I like that. I like not having a mental breakdown. Yay. I am safe here. Princess, are you alright? It won't be that bad. The townsfolk are good people. How can you be so sure? He probably goes outside once in a blue moon. Yeah, really? (laughs) He lives out there. How can you be so sure the people of the town are good? I mean, I live there and no one's mugged me yet, so... I mean, it might have something to do with me carrying a sword everywhere, but... (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, I I haven't heard any, you know, like, my neighbors don't leave bags of shit on my doorstep. Things are great. Yeah. Times have changed. People change. That is precisely the problem. Mother never changed. Mother loved me until the end. You got a complex... She got mommy issues, like, whoa. Yeah. Sometimes change is for the better, princess. I think you'll see that today. If you'll excuse me, I shall see you later. Bye. (laughs) Bye, bro. So, next time, we'll figure out who Delora is. Yeah. And uh, probably go out with Emmeline to the town, city, place. And, and I will get angrier and angrier at our main character. Yes. So look <laughs> forward to that. Um, thank you for watching. Comp, do you have anything left to say? Mommy issues abound. <laughs> and uh, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.